How many currencies did the U.S. have before the dollar? How did piggy banks get their name? What do you do if you need cash in Antarctica? Have you ever wondered about questions like these? Watch this video to learn eleven crazy bank-related facts, and stay till the end for a bonus fact as well. Number one: A man was accidentally charged twenty-three quadrillion dollars because of a technical glitch with their debit card payment processing. Since he didn't have the twenty-three quadrillion dollars in his account, he was also charged a fifteen-dollar overdraft fee. Number two: A regional bank in Italy accepts Parmesan cheese as collateral for loans. The bank stores the wheels of cheese in their very own vaults, which are kept at the perfect temperature for the cheese to mature. Number three. To open the gigantic vault doors at the Bank of England, you need a key which is three feet long. Number four, there are two ATMs in Antarctica. Both are operated by Wells Fargo. Number five, just a day before the Iraq War began, almost a billion dollars was stolen from the Iraqi Central Bank by Saddam Hussein. This was one of the largest bank heists in history. Number six, in North Carolina, a 59-year-old man with no previous criminal record held up a bank for one dollar. Why? He wanted to be sent to prison so he could receive free health care. Number seven, did you know piggy bank has nothing to do with the animal? In the Middle Ages, people saved money in kitchen jars and dishes made out of an inexpensive orange clay called pig. By the 19th century, potters made pig-shaped containers when asked to make pig banks, and although it might have been accidental, it has stayed ever since. That's how pig jar became piggy bank. Number eight: the largest single bank failure in American history. Is the 1931 collapse of New York-based Bank of the United States, which held more than 200 million dollars in deposits. It all started when a bank customer, who was advised not to sell his stocks because they were still a good investment, spread a rumor that the bank was refusing to let people sell their stocks. This resulted in a mob of over 2,500 people withdrawing their funds, totaling two million dollars. In just one afternoon, number nine. Prior to the Civil War, American banks could print their own paper money, resulting in over eight thousand different types of currency being used across the United States. Number ten. There were no banks in the U.S. until after the Revolutionary War, so colonial Americans either gave loans to each other. Or relied on credit from banks in England. The first national bank, Philadelphia's Bank of North America, was founded in 1781, less than five years after the United States itself was founded. Number eleven, an old man stole twenty-eight million dollars worth of diamonds from ABN Amro Bank in Belgium. He was given VIP access to the bank vault. As he gained the trust of bank employees by bringing them chocolates, and now for the bonus fact: in 1917, a bank in Utah nicknamed the Parcel Post Bank was built using 80,000 bricks, which were mailed through the USPS, as regular freight was too expensive. We publish a video every week, so please click subscribe if you haven't already. It's free.